G'day, I'm Jim Smart, and this is 2012's Counter-Strike Global Offensive. If you look on the left side of the screen, you'll notice I'm playing with PlayStation's DualShock 4. You can see every button I press, each movement of the sticks, and even how I turn the controller, all of which are important to understanding how I'm playing the game, because I'm playing Counter-Strike with gyro aiming and flick stick. When done well, gyro aiming turns your whole controller into a mouse giving you freedom to respond to what's on screen with precision and directness that's incredibly hard to match with a thumbstick alone. A few games have given gyro aiming a go, and usually it leaves much to be desired. Don't let them put you off. This is gyro aiming how it's meant to be done. Precise, responsive, with simple settings that work the same across any game. Of course, in practice it's made a little more difficult by the fact that I have to use another program to fake these settings. And this program, Joyshock Mapper, requires calibration on a per game basis. More on how to use that later. Now, this is more than just really good gyro controls. We still have the right thumbstick here, and you can layer gyro aiming on top of regular stick aiming just fine. Any game that's introducing gyro aiming will have this option, and probably work this way by default. However, since the gyro's range is more than enough to cover all vertical aiming, we can do something much more creative with the right stick. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce to you the flick stick. Just point the stick in the direction you want to face. Tilting the stick in any direction will turn you to face that direction near instantly. So you can always flick to the left by tilting the stick to the left, or look behind you by pulling it down. Once the stick is tilted, you can rotate it to make instant adjustments to the direction you're facing. However far you turn the stick, you'll turn the same amount in the game. If you pay attention to what I'm doing with the controller on the left side of the screen, you'll notice I do that a lot to navigate winding paths. When Flickstick was just an idea in my head, I anticipated it being a pro mode for hardcore players to get a competitive edge. But in practice, I was stoked to find it's actually really easy to use. Sure, for those of you already comfortable with legacy stick aiming, it won't feel as natural at first, but it's pretty easy to learn and probably much easier for new players than learning stick aiming. Now, I haven't played Counter-Strike in a while except to make this video, and that probably shows. Gyro and Flickstick aren't going to make you a great player right away, any more than moving from thumbstick aiming to mouse aiming is. Gyro aiming and Flickstick won't protect you from a lack of map awareness, bad weapon choice for the situation, or reloading at the worst possible moments. Still, I'm having a blast with this game, and practice makes perfect. Or if not perfect, at least a bit better. But hopefully you can see the potential here, and that my shortcomings as a Counter-Strike player aren't shortcomings of gyro and flick stick. I'm not claiming these features make a controller just as good as a mouse for playing these kinds of games. If it's not quite there, that's okay. My claim, instead, is that when done properly, gyro aiming and flick stick make playing these kinds of games with a controller way better than playing them the old fashioned way. Every PS4 comes with a DualShock 4. Switch controllers can do this stuff too. There should be no excuse for treating these controllers like they're just Xbox controllers. They have far more to offer. Any game that benefits from a mouse benefits from using the gyro as a mouse. It's easier for new players to learn. It has more potential for mastery by competitive players. And for basically the whole lifetime of the PlayStation 4, this potential has been squandered, even by PlayStation exclusives. Sure, Counter-Strike isn't on a modern console, and that's okay. The PC is the ideal testing ground for novel control methods, and any developer with a PC version of their game should take advantage of this. It seems to me that the main reason even games that have gyro controls don't do that good a job is a lack of established conventions. But controls like these are my expertise. I put together an open source library for reading gyro and accelerometer input from the DualShock 4, Switch Pro Controller, and Joy-Cons. I made the 3D overlay you see on the left that shows exactly what I'm doing with these controllers as far as orientation is concerned, along with stick, button, and trigger input. I created Joyshock Mapper, the program I'm using here to fake gyro aiming and flick stick by converting controller inputs to keyboard and mouse inputs. And this is almost exclusively how I've played PC games for more than a year now. And with everything I've learned, I maintain GyroWiki, a free resource for developers to learn how to implement really good gyro controls and flick stick. For players to learn how to use Joyshock Mapper, and to host a small but growing collection of configurations for Joyshock Mapper that anyone can share and contribute to. Links in the description. So give it a go. I love to see what better Counter-Strike players than myself can do with this. 
I have a link to my settings in the description below. Just copy it to your computer, change the in-game sends to match your mouse settings, make sure raw input is enabled, mouse acceleration is disabled, and controller is disabled, and then open your Counter-Strike config in Joystick Mapper to try it out. Give it a go in the training mode or any of the workshop levels, tweak the config as you see fit, and then show me what you've got. If you need more help getting it working, I have a quick start guide on this channel, and a more thorough tutorial on GyroWiki you can find in the description. If you don't want to download a strange program or have to deal with editing settings in Notepad, you can set up Gyro Aiming through Steam. It's a much easier to use interface, especially with games like Counter-Strike that map in-game actions to Steam inputs. However, it lacks some of Joyshock Mapper's settings that I think can be really important, it doesn't support Joy-Cons, and doesn't yet have an option for Flickstick. As much as I'd love to knuckle down to becoming a better Counter-Strike player, I've got lots to do. More games to play with Gyro and Flickstick, more videos to make, more features to add to Joyshock Mapper, and more resources to create for developers on GyroWiki. If you're a developer, reach out! I'm really keen to see games that play like this natively. There are probably ways to improve on the standards I've put on GyroWiki, but that just makes this all the more exciting. If we as an industry are trying to make games more accessible, more fun, more competitive, then the future of gaming is at least this bright, which is already a huge step up from the status quo. Players, if you have games in mind you'd like to play with really good gyro controls, or just want to see what it would look like for me to play it, let me know. And if you reckon someone could learn a thing or two from these videos, let them know. In the end, the only thing stopping developers from using their controller as a mouse is they don't know its potential. Let's change how games are played.